Hello everyone and welcome to another Marvel Legends review. In today's video we're taking a look at the Iron Man Mark 50 and the Iron Spider 2-pack, part of the Avengers Infinity War, celebrating 80 years of Marvel. Can you believe it? Where has time gone? And on the back of the box we've got the Infinity War poster along with the Mark 50 and Iron Spider. Finally we get a Peter Parker head and an iron spider with legs actually attached without me having to modify a cheap Chinese version. And here we have them out of their plastic prisons. Uh, iron Man is a huge improvement over his previous versions, especially all of these accessories that he comes with. He's got all of the kind of fold out arsenal of weapons. We have those gauntlets that plug in over his arms. The eyes look like they're kind of glowing well, the paint, albeit slightly pearled around the chest there, is definitely far more in keeping with what we actually saw from Infinity War. I absolutely adore where they've gone with this. I love these big, huge, chunky blaster sections as well. And it also comes with clenched fists. And of course, we also get a large shield as well. Various different options. I would like maybe an alternative stand, just so we can bring things right the way around to the front. But hey, there's a lot more here than what we've got, uh, especially when he's fighting off against Thanos. I think this kind of captures pretty much everything that we expect from it. I wonder if I've got that the right way around. I wonder if it's meant to be up higher, like that maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks outstanding. Nonetheless, I love these giant gauntlets that we get. I've actually got the, the SHF Thanos, I think it is. I think I ordered one of those, and uh, that should arrive next week. So I'll show them off together as well. Uh, I would love that Hasbro gave us loads of Thanos figures, but I don't think any of them really ticked all of the boxes for me. They were just slightly underwhelming. Uh, if I could have mixed and matched, um, I would have done but a lot of the colours were all different as well. Uh, they just didn't really... Uh, I think the best one was the one that came out in the three pack with the glowy, with the Doctor Strange as well, but that's the one I didn't pick up. Uh, Iron Spidey is pretty much in essence the same sort of figure, but we get this lovely sculpted section on the back, and then we get these highly articulated legs there. Just have to plug them in. There's a ball socket at the base. And there's another ball socket here, and then one here. So there's a lot, so there's a lot of motions that you can go through here. It's just a matter of twisting, turning, and getting things to work for you. You can plug the legs in however you see fit. I think they've got the legs the wrong colour though. From what I can remember, I thought the legs weren't gold. I thought they were kind of silver and red. I may just be completely getting confused. I thought it was a uh, there were gold in the comic for Iron Spider, but this does not look like the comic Iron Spider. Uh, really nice paint applications, and this is not too intrusive on the mold. It definitely tidies up a lot better than when I drilled holes in the back of mine. And the golds match the legs as well. Now, of course, we do get the Peter Parker head sculpt, which in my opinion is not Ah, the best Peter Parker head sculpt. Really loose neck joint there. That's not ideal, is it? This is not the best Peter Parker head sculpt in the world either, but better than that uh, bootleg one. That was uh, better than the one from the, uh, was it the three pack, I think, that had a Peter Parker head. This one does kind of look like Tom Holland. Eyebrows are wrong and the face is a little bit derpy there, but the hair is definitely spot on. I think we can make that work. Uh, it's definitely better than what we've had. I just can't kind of help but think that it kind of sits a little bit high on his neck. I don't know, maybe maybe that's just me. But it's all in all, it's a good representation of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I think this is going to be probably the most popular set uh, of two packs. I just think uh, this is probably the best version of Iron Man that they've done. Uh, Movie-wise, uh, it's just a gorgeous coloration. I think it definitely, definitely works. I love 
the paint applications on this. Uh, we've had various different versions over the years. Uh, I just think that they've managed to capture the Mark 50 really well. I do love these sleeves that kind of can come up and over. I love what they've done with the detailing as well. The gold especially uh, with that silver trim. Yes, it does look a little bit like Power Rangers movie. It does bear more than just a kind of striking resemblance. But that is a really good version of the Mark 50. I'd even go as far as saying I prefer this to the SHF version, uh, which in itself was a very good figure, but this is a fraction of the cost. Still don't have a good Robbie Downey Jr. Iron Man head sculpt, but I guess that's something we could get down the line in the future. Let me know your thoughts. Is this one that you're likely to pick up? What about the other 80th line? Are there any of the movie figures that you would have liked that we haven't seen and we haven't got? Personally, I could have done with a Meek. I mentioned that in my Korg review. Uh, I really would have liked a Meek to be done with Korg, but beggars cannot be choosers. Are you going to use Tom Holland head on Iron Spider or are you going to hope, are you going to stick it on one of the far from home torsos? Maybe that will work. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'd like to thank Robot Kingdom for making these reviews possible. And until next time, from myself, Iron Man, and Iron Spider, thanks for watching. Goodbye.